Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is in ScreenFlow 10. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to add markers in ScreenFlow to, to create clickable timestamp chapter markers in your YouTube description boxes. You just add them to the description box when you're uploading a video. Then when you click on a timestamp, it'll take you to that exact time code in the video. First, I edit the video. So it's done and ready to be exported. Then I drag the playhead back to the beginning and I just play it through. And every time I get to a part in the video where I want to create a chapter, all I do is tap on the grave key. That's right below the tilde key in the top left corner of your Mac. It's next to the number one and it's below the escape key. And if you don't know what it looks like, just go up to the top menu in ScreenFlow, click on Mark, go to Markers, you'll see Add. That is the Grave key. And when I get to a point in the video or I want to add a marker, I just tap on the Grave key. That brings up this little marker and I'll just start typing. Intro. That will be one chapter. And then you just click Create. I repeat this process from the beginning of the video until I get to the end of the video. If you ever wanna see a list of all the markers that you've created so far, just right click anywhere on this timeline up here. That will show you a list. If you wanna delete a marker, just simply click on the marker, and just right click on it and choose delete marker. If you wanna delete all the markers, just go to the very top, click on mark, markers, there you will see delete all. To edit the name of a marker, you can just double click right on the marker. Once I have added all of the markers that will become my YouTube chapters, I then open the marker panel in ScreenFlow using the keyboard shortcut Control M. You can also locate it if you go to the window menu, you will see markers and there's that keyboard shortcut Control M. At the bottom of the markers panel, you will see the total number of markers that you've created. If you wanna add a marker, just click on the plus icon. If you wanna remove a marker, just select it and click on the minus key. If you click on the arrow next to any marker, the playhead will jump to that part of the video. Unfortunately, there is not a way to export the marker list, but what I do is I create an Apple note I look on this right column of the marker panel and I just create the time codes in my Apple note. So 00, zero colon zero 05, that's five seconds. The key or the trick to this is just click one time on the list. So don't double click, just click once. That'll highlight it. So you can edit here, you can type it again or just press Command C to copy. I go to my Apple note and I paste it in. Click one more time, Command C to copy. I go back to my Apple note, paste. And now these chapters will go into the description for this video, and once the video is published, the timestamps will be clickable. And that is how I add markers and use the marker panel in ScreenFlow 10 to create chapters for my YouTube tutorials. My name is Mike Murphy, cheers.